Hey, Rhonda. Um, to answer your uh, side passing question and to help you a little bit with that, I know you've used the fence some, but when I'm starting one, I, I like to use the fence. It sounds to me like if you're having trouble with your horse backing up too much on you, there's two things going on. One, they're just not getting off your leg. Like if I want to go from here to the left, that horse just not getting off my leg enough, and there's a little bit of confusion of what they're supposed to do. Because a lot of us use that leg cue to make a horse back up. So, you know, we'll kick them and make them back. So there's just a little confusion there. So all I would do with that is when they back up, they got to understand that that's the only place when you want to side pass, the only place that they can get relief is to do that side pass. So if you're standing there and you want to side pass and they back up, just bump them right back up to the fence. Okay, and then let them stand for a second. And if you do it again, and they back up, just bump them right back up to the fence. Okay, same thing. If you want to back, if you do it again, put your leg on them, and they want to back up, kick them right up to the fence, and do it just a little bit harder, just to be a little more insistent on it each time. So they got it. They just understand that that's not an option. Okay, just make it real clear to them. I always like to call it like a box. You got a side there, and you got a side here because you're going that way, and you got a side there. If they take any step out of that box that you don't want them to, this side, this side, or that side, then you you give them some some spur, some leg, move them back up into that box. Let them know that that's not where they want to be. The only place of relief for them is this way okay that's the only open side of that box now if you go the other way just the opposite you got the front the side and the back all walls right here the only place that they can go there's an open door right there okay so if he backs up as soon as he goes outside of that wall kick him back up there okay and then ask him again and you got to make sure too you want them to have, you know, be soft in their face because if they're pulling on your hands, pushing on you, they're not going to listen to you. So you want to have them knocked off the bridle just a little bit. You want to make sure that they're soft enough in the face where you can control that and hold the front end and then just push their belly over and have them side pass. Okay? Again, if they're pulling the bridle out of your hands, and you're trying to push them around, it's not going to work. you got to be able to control that front end. And by controlling that front end, that means you got to be soft enough in their face that you can hold that front end right there while you're moving them over. Okay? So just remember that box. That's the biggest thing. And I, I use that box in a lot of things, and I want to make it super clear to that horse. I don't want to confuse them. Okay, you can't go there if I'm going that way. You can't go there, which that door is there for real if you're up against the fence. And then you got the imaginary uh, wall here and the imaginary wall behind them. And if you want to side pass them, say you want to go to the right and they push into your leg and go to the left towards that wall, then you get after them harder with that leg until they go, okay, that's the only way I can go. And if they back up, back up then you just kick them forward and get them right back up in this comfort zone. They got to understand that when they back up there, they're going to get they're going to get scolded. When they go the, if they go the, to the left, when you're trying to go to the right, they're going to get scolded. The only place they can go is to that open door. Let them find that open spot. Okay? Very important that they're soft on your leg, soft on your hands. Give all that a try and let me know how it works.